All right, we are going to be customizing, colorizing actually, the hair that we made yesterday. Now we just have to find it. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see, windows, tool options, there we go. Oh, and don't forget Windows Layers. Now, what you want to do, you want to create a new layer, foreground color. Now, this is really simple. Choose a color you like. Alright, originally, this hair is brown. So, we are going to go with, ta 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 ta, blonde. Fill. color. Oh, that doesn't look very good, does it? That's okay. Let's do blue. I like that. Now, we click that little eye, and, oops, there we go. There we go. Actually, you know, I know an easier way. Because we don't want that to be blue. We want it to be, like, bright. Right? Okay, open. Find your shine. Everyone should have shine. Shine is a great thing. Yes, it is. Boom, ba -da boom boom The only reason that I don't save this when I erase it is I don't want to. Although I could just do a whole thing there, couldn't I? File, new layer. Da 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 da! Alright. Layer to image size. Hmm. There we go. And about 50. Ta-da! Now see it has more white and it actually looks like shine. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, you could always overlay it, but then it has weird colors and stuff that I don't like. So, I'm sticking with color. And I'm going to make it more of a C color, because I like the C. Merge down, merge down, save as blue test. Dum -dum -dum. And there you go. 